Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Alex Elliott, a PZ Gold professional and top 50 world coach. Today we're answering this question on the channel from P. Russell. Great tip, but I duff so many shots using my lob wedge. So we're going to be looking at pitch shots. Now I know you've seen the thumbnail and that little bit of a compensation and how I stand to a pitch shot with my right foot, my trail foot. I know it looks strange, let me explain and this is going to help you level up your 50 yard shot. Briefly, I just want to show you what I, I mean, I walk around here with the dog sometimes and I see this, people lay up here on the 12th, stand here, get the lob wedge, really wide stance as if they've got their seven iron and we swing really long and go really through. Then when they try and make a half shot, they just sort of duff it in front. You have to make these compensations to bring yourself control. So if you just come to the down the line perspective there, just have a note of how I'm set up to this golf ball and just think, don't ever stand to a wedge shot as if you're standing to a full iron shot. Okay, the first part of this solution is just thinking about your wedge selection. Now, I carry three wedges. Oh, a bit of mud on that. I carry a 58, a 54 and a 50. My most favoured wedge to pitch with is my 50. I feel my 58 just goes a little bit high and I'll only use that in scenarios where the flag's short-sided, I need to hoist it up. So park this on the side for a second, but you can use the same technique. I want you to get used to using maybe your sand wedge or your 50 as opposed to your lob wedge. Okay, now, I want you to stand to your golf ball just like this. So you saw on the thumbnail how I kicked in my right foot slightly. Now I was told this by my first ever golf coach as a hack to stop me swinging too far on these pitch shots. Now let me show you why. Now I stand on a full shot with my feet flared like this and I can really feel how much my hips move. Now I want you just to try that if you're watching this now. Just get up out of the chair if you can and just move your hips, flare the feet, okay? And from the player cam, it should almost look like you feel a bit of a penguin, <laughs> okay? Feet out. I now want you to get a bit of a narrower stance, so two club head widths apart and kick your right foot in. Now do the same thing. This will lock in your right hip. Now, if you lock in your right hip, this will limit how far back you can go. I mean, I can't go back much further than that without it being a strain. So if you can stand here, not worry about the length of your swing, keep your weight on your left hand side, that is gonna guarantee your strike. That is the solution to how you can play the shot. Okay, I'm gonna play on my 50, then I will go a little bit closer and show you how to do this with a lob wedge as well because I do think that's important. So okay, stand in, get in there, two club head widths apart, kick the right foot in, look at that from the player cam perspective, wait on my left hand side and just feel like you go back. I'd say just as far as you can. It's gonna limit it because you've locked in that right hip. The strike is so good. I know it feels odd, but oh, look at this. That is straight down it. Look how close and how quick that stopped. So let's take a few, let's take a few steps forward here. I've got my 58 in my hand and I'm gonna give you a scenario where I would use this. Probably about sort of 30 yards away. I've got to go over the crest and I've got to go over a little mound on the green. And that is where I would think about using this club. See, you don't have to use or a lot of loft all the time. I want you to sort of, like I said at the start, revert to using something with a little bit less loft like your gap wedge. Okay, now, I also think this really resonates with me. If I'm gonna throw a ball to you, my right foot's kicked in, it's easier for me to sort of push off and get through that ball. If in a short shot, I've got this wide stance, feet flared like this, I've got to do a lot more effort in a short space of time and that's where we end up sort of thinning it and blasting it over. So trust in this. I used this yesterday on one of my playing lessons. We came to this exact scenario with this exact club. And again, I stand in, two club head widths apart, turn it in, weight on the left. This just feels like everything is going down and through that way rather than up and out that way in an effort to get the ball in the air. Now. Let's see this one, okay? Look at that setup. 
weight left. I know it looks a little bit odd, but it really feels like I lock that in. Oh, that's so close again. I mean, we'd take those two, right? So about inside 10 feet with both of your wedge shots. So nice and simple. Just remember your little hack, kick the right foot in, locks the right hip in, limits how far you can turn back. So you can just get on with thinking about contacting, hitting the shot. Here we go. This is where they finish. And even better, I left myself an uphill putt. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do subscribe and turn the bell to never miss any of the videos. I really would appreciate that.